Emory Athletics welcome, welcomes back uh, head men's golf coach John Soberg for a live uh, interview. Coach, welcome back, and it's good to have you back in the office. Great to be here. Great to be in person. Great to have the students back on campus. It's been a, a fantastic start to the fall here. Uh, you guys have been practicing, obviously you're getting ready for the upcoming uh, season this weekend, but you guys have been practicing for a, a little while. Let's talk about how practice is going so far. Yeah, it's been great. We've had uh, great weather, a uh, really good group here uh, with uh, five, six new guys coming in this fall. It's been a good uh, insertion of energy. Um, some really good scores have been shot, so hopefully we can translate that into some competitive golf this weekend. And uh, this weekend, you just alluded to, it's uh, quite a season opening tournament. You go over to Florida uh, to play in the D3 fall preview. Uh, field is stacked, and just talk about that tournament. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big event, obviously. People from all over the country coming down to get a look at Mission Inn, where we'll be this spring. So uh, really looking forward to testing ourselves right out of the gate. Uh, I feel fortunate we've got three seniors that have, uh, have done this a bunch before, so hopefully that will help us from an experience standpoint. And then... Uh, try to get a couple good rounds from the new guys along the way. You know, talk about your seniors, uh, uh, Max Schwartz, Davis, and uh, Logan. Yeah, they've been awesome. Uh, Davis back for for a fifth year is a, is a big deal for us. He was fantastic last spring. Uh, Max has probably been our steadiest player for for the last two years, and and uh, Logan um, is has been great. He's he's got probably the biggest upside, and we're really looking forward to tapping into that this fall. You know, we uh, talk about this weekend's tournament. In terms of what are you looking to get out of it? Obviously, do you, do, do you look to see where your players are, or do you look to see more where you stack up against other teams this early in the year? Yeah, a little bit of both for sure. It'll be a, it'll be a great test from that standpoint right out of the gate with uh, 23 other teams down there, and, and most of them probably in the top 20 in the country. So we'll see if we're any good or not right out of the gate here, and uh, hopefully, like I said, that experience those seniors can help us help lead us. They're going to be a big big piece of the equation here going forward the next uh, five, six weeks in these four events we play this fall. Uh, obviously, 54-hole tournament, 18 holes each day uh, at two courses over at the Mission Resort. Uh, you've been there before, maybe but give people kind of a review on the El Campion and uh, Kalinas courses. Yeah, I got a good look at them last spring, uh, which was great. Tough, tough golf courses, both of them. The Las Colinas possibly a little bit easier, but both tough, demanding driving courses. Uh, just demanding long game courses in general. You've, uh, El, El Campeon's a classic 100 year old uh, course, uh, small green, slopey greens, uh, going to test every skill in the bag. So uh, you can't fake it around there. You're going to have to hit good shots and, and be sharp with all, all aspects of your game. And, and certainly the team that plays the best is going to win. There's not going to be any, any fluking in around that golf course, especially for 54 holes, which is great. All right, Coach. Well, thanks very much for your time. I'll let you get back to work. Uh, good luck this uh, week. Uh, it's Sunday through Tuesday, so good luck uh, this weekend, and we'll catch up with you when you uh, guys get back. Thanks, John.